Hey everybody, this is Ernie, the Web Technologies Librarian at Paul Sawyer Public Library. And for this tech tutorial video, I'm going to show you real quick how to use Venmo. Uh, it's a popular payment app right now. Uh, most of the time what people use it to do is to either send money to friends for stuff uh, when you owe them some money, or if you're using a local uh, person or uh, you stop by a, a yard sale, something like that, and you don't have any cash, you can just quickly pay the person personally uh, if they also have Venmo, which these days it's it's pretty common for people to have Venmo and use it. So, first thing you want to do is download the Venmo app from the App Store of your choice. Then you'll set up an account. Uh, same as anywhere else, just a uh, email and a password and everything like that. And once you have your account set up, this is what you're going to see when you log into the uh, app. So, this is just kind of a list of the uh, recent payments that people have made that I am friends with. Uh, it's it's not quite like a social network, but it does keep track of your contacts, uh, and they're they're your friends on this app. Just just in case you need to send them money, uh, they're already basically within the app for you. Because again, this is a lot of is is just used for people to pay uh, friends. Uh, like you'll see here, there's uh, a lot of people just kind of paying people back for food. It doesn't say how much they paid them, but, you know, tacos, pizza, it's just kind of a way to give people money that you owe them without having to have actual cash around. So the easiest way uh, to use it is down at the bottom there. It has pay or request. Uh, there's also a QR code scan feature, which if someone uh, has their QR code uh, available, you can just scan the, the QR code to pay them. And you can also have your QR code created from the app. So if I wanted to put this QR code out there, people could just scan it to send me money. But if you go to pay a request here, you can request money from someone for how much they owe you, or you can go ahead and pay someone uh, what you want to pay them. So for instance, if I go to my friend Lindsay here, uh, it just brings up the payment uh, section of the app. Right here on the right, you'll see it says zero dollars, and I can just put in whatever amount uh, I want to pay her. Let's say I owed her ten dollars uh, for something. Who knows? And that's where it has what it's for. And I'll just say it's for uh, being a friend, just like the Golden Girls theme song. So there we go. It's ten dollars for being a friend. And uh, down here in the bottom right, it'll say public. If I didn't want it to show up on that feed that was showing up at the start uh, when I opened up this app, I could just go to private, and it would only show up between me and the person I'm sending money to. Uh, so, like I said, it's not quite a social network, so you can, you can hide everything, and it doesn't show the dollar amount anyway, but lots of times I don't, I don't like to uh, show what I'm doing and stuff like that, so it's perfectly fine to hide it. So once I got this all ready, I can just hit pay, and that's where it's going to allow me to pay. So here's, down at the bottom, I have my Discover uh, checking account set up with it. Uh, so you would go through at this point and attach it to either say a credit card or a bank account or something like that that you use and it just pulls that money straight from there and sends it to the person's Venmo account and then they can uh, withdraw it to their bank account after that. So it's, it's very much like PayPal if you've used PayPal before but it's actually a lot more stripped down, uh, less business oriented as PayPal has become uh, in the past while and it's more just or payment between friends. So if I tapped Pay Lindsay Hog down there for ten dollars, it would send her ten dollars. But I'm not sending her ten dollars. Uh, I'm just showing this for you <laughs> for the app. So that's pretty much how the app works. It's really simple, and uh, it has uh, made it a lot easier to just kind of throw people some money when you owe them some stuff uh, without having to actually have money. Which these days, having cash is kind of a luxury that lots of people just don't don't deal with or, or it's, it's just not a common thing anymore so this is kind of what has taken place of that and, and and you can also like I said pay local contractors and stuff I have a person that comes and uh, works on my HVAC uh, air conditioning system and I always pay him through here he's a good guy and I just send it straight straight through here so I don't have to actually go out uh, get the money for him or write a check or anything like that it's very simple very easy to use and it makes uh, makes things a lot easier so, uh, if you've ever heard people talking about you can just Venmo me, uh, this is what they're talking about, and it's kind of taking place of PayPal these days for the, the small personal payments that people are doing. So, 
I hope this has been helpful. And again, if, like usual, if you have any questions, go ahead and just just ask us. Thanks a lot.